In this screencast, I will demonstrate how to illustrate a very simple RSS icon in Inkscape version 0.45. The idea for this tutorial came from a post on the unofficial Inkscape Forum website at www.inkscapeforum.com. If you're a new user or an experienced one and you haven't been there yet, then you're missing out on a small but growing community of artists of all levels of expertise willing to help each other. So check it out. Okay, let's begin the tutorial. First thing I'm going to do, <clears throat> excuse me, is open up my document properties and set this to 256 by 256. That is on a requirement, but it does make my document a little bit smaller, a little bit better to work with. Okay. Oops. Okay, now the first thing I'm going to do is uh, draw a square. I'm going to make sure that my square is 256 by 256. I'll true that up. And I'll align the square on my page. Okay. Now the next thing I'm going to do is right click on this and duplicate it. I'm going to turn my stroke on, make sure it's just one. And I'm going to change this. to 185 uh, pixel square and I'll put that in the center of my page. This is basically going to act as my guide <clears throat> so we'll move that off for now. Okay now the next thing that we're going to do is uh, draw a perfect circle. I'll do that by holding my control key down and I want to make sure that I give it a very thick stroke. I'll do something about like uh, 40 pixels and I'll remove the fill and I'm gonna make sure that this is 370 seems kinda of big right now but what we'll end up doing is cutting it down okay and I'll duplicate this and holding the control and the shift key down together and dragging my handle I'll make this one just a little bit smaller this one's gonna be about 236 pixels in diameter and I'll grab both of those and I'll just center them up okay <clears throat> Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take this very first circle that we've drawn, go to Path, and do an Object to Path. Then we'll grab our Node tool, and we click on this circle, and you notice that we have four nodes around here now. I'm going to hold my Shift key down and select all four nodes. And I'm going to do a Break Path at Selected Nodes. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is highlight this very first one and delete it. And I'll go around here and just delete it until I get this uh, moon shape. I'll do the same to the bottom. I'll go to Path, Object to Path. Holding the Shift key down, we'll select all four nodes and we'll do break path at selected nodes. Okay, we'll take our very first one and delete it. And we'll just walk around here. Okay, now you've noticed that I've when I've cut this thing around here that these endpoints, they're not straight, they're on an angle. In order to get them straight, you need to select each one and do stroke to path. And that makes them straight. OK, 
Okay, for now I'm going to group this together and leaving that selected, I'll select my small square and I'll center that up on the square. Now you can see that uh, using my square here as a guide, this kind of shows me how this thing will fall in line. Next thing I'm going to do is hold my control key down and draw a circle. This time around I'm going to remove this uh, stroke and we need to color it. That'll do for now. And we'll make this about 45 pixels in diameter. And selecting the circle, selecting our square, we'll grab our align tool. And we'll center to the left, to the bottom. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Now we can delete our guide. I am going to ungroup this. We're going to color each one of these white. There we go. And then I'll regroup it. Okay. Um, that's basically uh, the very start of our RSS icon. So now what I'm going to do is uh, highlight this grouping and duplicate it and make the duplicated copy black and I'll give it a 2% blur and then I'll move it behind a step whoops went too far okay and that kind of gives it let me zoom in on this so you can see it that kind of gives it uh, an outer glow around here to give just a little bit of depth to it okay the next thing I'm gonna do is double click on this orange square and we're gonna give this a 40 pixel fillet all the way around here okay it's starting to look pretty good now and at any time that uh, you wanna see what your uh, icon might look like something smaller you can go to your view pull down icon preview and you can have a look at what your icon might look like at different levels there's a 48 by 48 32 by 32 and don't worry about the one on the left here I just go down here and look at these uh, vectors and it looks pretty good so far so the next thing that we're going to do is uh, highlight our orange background and we're going to give it a gradient okay take this and we'll edit our gradient and we'll add a stop we'll go to our last gradient and we'll give it full transparency and I'm gonna make it just a little darker there we go and I'm gonna copy that and make our very first gradient the same color okay and the one in the middle now will give it full transparency we will make it just a little bit lighter about like that and you can see the gradient up here that we've gone dark to light back down to dark again okay now I'm gonna change the gradient and we're gonna go from corner to corner on a 45 degree angle and that gives a very nice um, highlight down through the middle okay now the next thing that we'll do is uh, we'll highlight this orange background and I'll duplicate that and I'm gonna give it a stroke and for the stroke we'll give it about a two pixel stroke and I'm gonna make sure that I remove the fill so all I have is the stroke I'm gonna select my node tool dynamic offset and I'm gonna pull that in just a little bit that looks pretty good 
Actually, I'm going to make the stroke one more pixel thicker. We'll do a three here. And we'll make that stroke white. And we'll give it a gradient, a radial gradient. And we'll adjust our gradient. And I'm going to pull it in just a little bit so it kind of fades out on the corners. Looks pretty good. Okay, and we'll give it just a little bit of a blend. Oh, two's too much. We'll try a one. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. That step is totally up to you. So if you want just a, a flat background, then uh, you can skip that step. And the next thing I'm going to do is grab my outside um, orange background again. And we're going to give it a stroke. Okay. And I'm going to hold my shift key down, my color tool, make the stroke an orange, and go just a little darker with it. Okay, we'll give it two pixels for the thickness. And I'm going to give it a linear gradient. And I'll show you what I'm doing here in just a minute. Make sure we go up all the way there. And what I've done with that gradient, I've given it just a little bit of a dark stroke at the very bottom. What I was trying to do there is simulate a little depth. Okay, and I think what I'll need to do now is uh, grab the very outside uh, orange background. Right click, duplicate. We'll give it a solid black fill. We're going to turn off our stroke. Make this just a little bit darker. And we will give this a 2% blur. And I'm going to give this about a 60% transparency. And we'll grab that and we'll go down about five steps. If you just uh, hit your arrow key, your down key, move this down about five times. And I'm going to push this to the very back. That's just going to give us just a little bit of a drop shadow. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn off my background border so you can see what we've got here. And then here is our RSS icon. And that's just about it. Now I've seen this, well, everybody has seen these things about a zillion places on the internet. And um, this is about as close as I can match uh, to something that's uh, more typical. Um, you can uh, do just about anything you want there. You can change the color. Uh, just get crazy with it, I guess. So that's about it. So thank you for watching my screencast. I'm Heathen X.